Hey, what up, fellas? Listen, man, there's been something happening at the jetties right now. Winter's the time to catch some giant redfish, and they've been here too. There's only one problem. The only people catching them are using cut bait and live bait as well. I'm not kidding you, my last three or four fishing trips, I've been maybe got one or two bites on spoons, and I have not landed a fish. So maybe we need to try something different, something more realistic. Something like an NLBN swim bait with good action in the fall and still able to get down deep with a bigger jig head. So we're rigged up with some big no live bait needed swim baits. We're heading to the deep, man. I told you guys, this winter we're going for a new PB redfish. So we're going for the monsters today. I mean, the real reason I know these baits are gonna work is Justin Menendez uses these baits. He catches fish, but he's not good at fishing. You do the math. <laughs> Trying to fish. Oh, which I just want to fish. Oh, oh. All right, man, we already know there's fish here. So if we can't catch them, then we know I'm just the problem. Man, it's looking, it's looking juicy though. For this time of year, kind of crazy. Let's see what that guy can do. Blah, 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 blah. That's a fish, that's a big boy. That's a big boy. Oh, let's go, dude. Not the first or second cast. Not the first or second cast, but maybe like five. No lie, dude. I, this, this feels like a big one, dude. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. This, this might be big, I don't know. We gotta land this boy. We gotta land this boy. I, I, man, I, whenever you get the bite, you forget exactly what you're doing. When he bit it, I wonder if it was on the fall or like right after a, a little pop. Unfortunately, he's going straight down, boys. He's going straight down. Oof, he's up. No! Bad word. I didn't even get cut off, dude. He was close, man. I had him right there. Oh my god! I, you should have grabbed him! You're kidding me, dude. I'm thinking right there, the I think the bait hit hit a rock. I felt it hit a rock and I couldn't move it. So he just shook his head and he was gone. Whew. We're back in here though. Interesting, right now we're we're at like it should be the low tide, but the tide's still going out at a decent clip. Kind of interesting that in the last couple of days the tide has continued to drop out. So somehow we do still have some good water clarity. That's working in our favor a little bit, especially with the swim bait. Man, I'm pissed I lost that. Dude, something is wrong with me, fellas, dude. My fishing skills last two, two, three weeks have been low, boys. Man, I think that happens to all fishermen, no matter how good you are, even though I'm not that good, but you just go through little spells when everything is just going wrong for you. Even though we're getting a few bites, man. Even when I'm getting bites, I end up losing the fish. There he is. Well. What is this, man? Whatever this is, I don't know. Hold on. This, this, the last one I hooked was huge, man. This guy's not feeling the same, but I'm loving the bite. I, I, I kind of had it on the bottom. I was just resting it on the bottom for a couple seconds. Then I moved it pretty quick. I think he saw it and chased it down after that. <laughs> I don't know, maybe he's bigger than I think. We'll just have to see. What I like about this guy, he's going to the left, not the right. Surely he won't hear me and turn around. Right on the edge of that rock face. Woo, that's a fish. A little, that's a little bit, I, I, from the first couple seconds, man, I almost could have thought that was a slot redfish. He's definitely bigger than this slot, dude. We're breaking the curse, fellas. We are breaking the curse. 
of the multiple bad trips as long as we can land them. <laughs> Get me out of here. Holy fumbling. Well, we're not beating the accusations with the landing of that fish right there. But we got the fish, man, and we're going to get him back right now. Whoa. There he goes. Whew. Man, dude. Again, thank God we got the spikes, or else I would have died about three times. And I still almost died with them. <laughs> Big swim bait is getting the bites, boys. All we're doing with this guy is we're dropping it down to the bottom and giving it a few different retrieves. Like I said, with that last one, I gave it a little pause and then started working it and that's when it got hit. But I'm also just hopping it off the bottom and then giving it a little bit of straight retrieves in between. But for sure, they are near the bottom. So we got to drop it down there. Dude, that's perfect because we hooked a giant one, lost him. Then we caught a smaller one, but now we just have to go back in to catch a giant. That was not even a bad fish though. Well fellas, sun's going down already. So quick, it's already going down. Today might not be our day to catch a giant, but we give it one more shot. We're not leaving yet. That's a fish. No! I, th I thought he dropped it. Oh my, dude. This might be the guy. This might be the guy. He is fighting like crazy. What is he doing, dude? He's doing crazy head shakes. Very weird. No bites. Like, no one was getting bites. Last hour, hour and a half. I just decided to stick it out. See if something shows up. We got hit. No way, dude. Okay, this is not the giant, but man, he was doing crazy head shakes. Come on, buddy. Ooh, look at that guy, dude. Look at he doesn't even have the biggest mouth of all time, but he got that bait. Like I always say, we don't think of redfish having teeth, but look at those guys right there. That's sick, man. We stuck it out and it paid off. And for a fish of that size, it's kind of crazy. It still has those sharper teeth, man. Sick! It all paid off, man. Playing dangerous games right here. Dangerous games. There it goes. Good kickoff. Let's go, dude. I don't know what the heck is going on right here, man. <laughs> I'm trying to beat the curse, man, but goofy stuff is still happening. Time is up, man. So now we're gonna do the only thing we can do. Come back tomorrow, we've gotta get the giant that we lost. Check it out, fellas. It's looking pretty fishy, man. The wind's blowing a little bit, but luckily it is coming out of the south. So we'll be casting with the wind into the channel right there. Man, there's just recently been a bloom of cabbage heads. They're all littered on the jetties and there's a bunch on the surf as well. <laughs> I would feel bad for these guys, but they don't have real brains. It's funny too, nothing seems to eat them even though they're just like free, just floating around. But I guess they don't have much nutritional value. Maybe just turtles taking bites out of them. All right, a little bit of a different game plan today. Yesterday, we are using the two ouncer with the five inch paddle tail. But I'm thinking, man, the monsters of the deep, they're in the deep. So what if we try going with maybe even a little bit more than two ounces, go up to the three ouncer big old three ounce right there. I'm not saying it's gonna be better, but it may help us stick to the bottom. And I think lately the redfish have been down there on the bottom. I'm thinking the two ouncer is probably the more ideal jig head size for the, for the depth we're fishing here. But also I think it is kind of coming off the bottom with the way I'm working it. So I could either slow down or I could just put on more lead. <laughs> Should we throw it to the dolphins? Got it there to be honest. 15 feet short. Well, that three ouncer is definitely staying down there a lot better, but no bites yet. Either there's no fish, or maybe this guy's just falling a little bit too fast. Let's try the two ouncer and see if we can find him. This is our moment. All right, look at that guy right there. That is looking clean, boy. You need to go out there and get us a guy right now.
Poseidon. Help me out here. Aquaman, even. Jesus. That's a fish. Oh my god, get it! There he is! There he is! Finally, dude! Wow! Let's go, dude! Oh my god, we're right in a field of dolphins. <laughs> and something we've learned, or we found out, is these dolphins, they will bite some redfish. Hopefully he's good, dude. My god, dude, he hit it once. I thought I blew my opportunity. He came back and hit it again. Might have been even a bunch of fish. Come on, come on, over. No bites for like an hour and a half, two hours. None at all, man. But I just kept throwing. I know they're gonna be moving around the jetty. Ooh. Especially when it looks this fishy out. The issue right now is that the, the wind was really good for us. It was out of the south. Now it has more eastern in it. We've got bigger swells. And right here, they're swelling up pretty bad. It can get a little bit dangerous, especially when we're landing a big fish. Oh yeah, that's a good one, dude. Oh, we got that fella. Oh my god, dude. I, I'm pretty spooked right here, man. Oh. Yeah, that's why right there. Oh my god. It's crazy out here. Woo dude. It's freaking crazy out here, man. That That's not our new PB, but dude, that's a fish we worked hard for. And that's a big guy, man. Super stoked to catch this guy. Man, that's a big fish. Let's get our rod. Get a little rod measure in here. To the 20, the, to the 20. Woohoo! Go get him, big fella. What's that? Yeah, you want one? No live bait needed, man. I just started using them and they're they're doing pretty good for me. 24 plus 15 and a half, that's a 39 and a half inch redfish. Actually bigger than I thought, man, but not our PB. It's crazy, man. You don't get a bite for an hour, two hours, and you're like, what the heck am I doing out here, man? I'm just wasting my time. There's no fish. Then all of a sudden, bang, and you're hooked up. <laughs>